Today we're going to talk about how to approach cleaning the interior of a car. Now this particular one is a Honda Accord and it's what I like to call the mommy wash or the kid mobile. There's tons of dirt and shoe prints and kicking and gum and peanut butter and jellies and all kinds of fun stuff in this and I wanted to talk to you briefly about the wide range of ways to clean the interior. Now not all of them are going to work for you because there's different machines, some are expensive, some are cheap, and some are just uh, a brush and a uh, microfiber towel. So I'm going to show you um, going from easiest, meaning least expensive, all the way to the expensive, where I have a PC here with a special interior brush on here. This one I got from Detailer's Domain, super soft, can use it on um, the leather and, and rugs. And as you can see, it is a PC. I don't use a PC for the paint anymore because it doesn't, just quite, doesn't have the power uh, of the other machines nowadays. These need to be upgraded, but um, perfect for the interior. So that would be one that we're going to talk about. And of course, my steam machine, my beloved um, uh, steamer here, and I'll show you the techniques of how I use all of these combined when I'm using the steam machine. We'll talk about that in a bit. And then of course, just the um, a couple different brushes here, and we'll go over that uh, in a little bit. And this is super basic. Everybody can do this along with my um, lather interior cleaner. I put a piece of tape and we're going to do one little section at a time and I'll show you the difference between the two and you pick which one works for you. All right, now technique one that we're going to talk about is the easiest, the cheapest, um, I would consider it the quickest, meaning you don't have to break out any machines and everybody can do it. What you can do, this first thing is take it and take your, uh, your lather, your interior cleaner, and you can put it on a microfiber towel and simply just wipe, right? If you're not comfortable using brushes or any of that stuff, you don't have it, simply wipe and you know, you'll get some off, but it won't be the greatest clean in the world. So that's kind of step, uh, pre-step one or whatever you want to call it. Next, what I would do on this one here, since this is a super safe cleaner, I'd hit it a little bit. One or two squirts, All right? Let that sit, hit it in my brush. And then I take my brush and you see how it's lather? See how it's getting all a little sudsy there, but it's pH balance safe. That's why we call it lather. So you're going to get in there. So this is going to be step Step two, so to speak. And when I say step two, that means uh, essentially you're, you're cleaning this um, in the least amount of aggressive behavior. So if the first step worked, then just move on. So now we're on step two because it didn't really work. See how it's creating, it's kind of agitating all this stuff out. Just give it another second or so. Put this down, take your microfiber towel, wipe that up. All right, now it's looking much better. Now, would I consider this done? Uh, no, I wouldn't consider this done. So we're gonna move on to step three of the easy, uh, of the easy steps, if that makes sense. And that's gonna be a scrub pad. All right, with so the scrub see. pad, I'm gonna take a little bit of cleaner, get it on there, maybe a little, little lubrication on there. All right, so now I have the cleaner and I take my scrub pad very lightly because uh, you don't want to go through the hide here. And I'll just get a little bit extra um, cleaning power on some spots. Like some, like over here it came out perfect. But I'll just, see I'm barely lightly, I'm sticking my finger in it just like this. So it's just covering the, I guess the palm of my, uh, of my fingertip, if that makes sense. I'm just giving a little bit more pressure. And it's all coming off. Now you just gotta be careful, like I said, you don't wanna go through by pushing really, really hard. You never wanna do that. But this will get you that extra little step you need. And then I'll show you the last technique. Now it's looking pretty good. Get in there while it's still wet. You never wanna let this dry. And the reason why you don't wanna let any of this stuff dry is um, once you pull it up, once you pull up the lather, you see how it was all white? All the dirt is now up in that, uh, up in the cleaner. And if you let it dry, it's just gonna stick back down again. Because what this is doing is basically tickling the pores of the leather and pulling out the dirt. And once it's out on the surface, you gotta you know, wipe it away, like in the shower or whatever. You get all that lather going on your skin, pull all the oils and all the dirt from the day, and then the shower comes down and rinses it away. This is, you know, consider this the shower. Boom, wipes right away. Looking good. Now the last two brushes I have here that I keep in my little, um, interior regimen that I keep with my, you know, when I'm detailing cars. This one here is for shaving cream, but I like to use it on very, very soft, like Bentley leather. That's not very dirty, but uh, 
uh, but enough for me to uh, address it, I'll use it uh, on that. But obviously on this Honda interior, uh, we're not gonna use it. And then I use one of these skinnier brushes. Sometimes I need to get in and what I'll do is I'll pull the leather back. Um, right now this, this tape is here because I wanna show you before and after, but I pull the leather back and I'll just be able to get in there and kind of flick out the dirt. Um, and then be able to suck it up with a vacuum because that little dirt basically acts like little sandpaper because when you're sitting and you're, and you're getting up and you're sitting and getting up, sitting and getting up, it's flexing the leather and all the little dirt in there actually ends up over time cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting it. And I work on a lot of old cars and over 20 years you can see the difference of um, maintaining these little cracks here. So sometimes I use that and of course the best thing in the world is, is air, but today we're not gonna talk about that. But you can take air, shoot all that out, and you're good to go. Let's move on to the next step and I'll show you the before and after. I'll, I'll remove this. All right, so you saw technique one. Pretty easy, pretty basic. You got yourself uh, you know, a brush here and you're, you're off and running. But what if you say, I want some more power? Well, power is what I'll give you right now. So we're gonna do this little section here, put the brush to the side, we're gonna break out the PC. Now look at this, nice and soft, right? First you're gonna do, get these a little wet, get some cleaner on them, put some cleaner on your spot. Remember, only do one little area at a time, never let it sit, All right? We're just gonna get that nice and lubricated with pH balance cleaner, All right? You're gonna take your PC, I have it on five, we're gonna to go to town. And this is what it looks like. See the ladder coming up? Super soft, super safe. You come back in, remember, never let it dry, and you wipe it down. Now here's the interesting thing. Now this looks amazing, it looks great, um, but there's still some little spots here. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll reach on over and I'll grab my scuff pad. Now scuff pad you wanna be careful with, I cannot reiterate that enough. I'll take it and I'll ball it up and there's a little spot here that the machine just didn't get. Now I got all the surface um, dirt, no problem, but as you can see I'm only doing little spot areas. And now it's really, really clean. And you can fly through the whole interior. If you don't want to use the brushes, you don't want to use more of the manual and you're a and you're a, you're a man's man and you wanna use a machine, uh, I'm all for it. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I can choose what you like, what you're comfortable with, what you have time to do, and, uh, and use that. In reality, this is more of a professional detailing type tool. Um, and I think, I think the brush is, is uh, pretty darn good itself. So that's, uh, that's approach number two. Now let's get to the, uh, the big one where you wanna rip apart everything in the interior and make sure there's no bacteria. Uh, step three, or option three, is the, is the choice for you. Now here's the result after step two. Now remember, this was step one, looking pretty good. This was step two, also looking pretty good. And remember, we haven't touched here, so see how greasy and nasty that is? See how there isn't really a film or shine bouncing off? See how glove, my gloves are a little bit shiny? There's no shine there. Look at the shine here. That's all body oil and grease and dirt. That's clean. That's clean. So let me back out a little bit. You can see these two need to be done. These two have been clean. For option three, I like to use a steam machiner. Now what I do is I steam the area first. What that does is opens up the pores. Remember we talked about in, in, in uh, approach one? It opens up the pores and I'll clean out everything and you'll see it'll get stuck in this microfiber towel. Then afterwards we'll go back and really kind of pull everything out with the brush. 
because remember we steam the, it's warm as it warms up everything opens so it's kind of a double whammy and you're killing the bacteria and you're pulling everything out and then when i'm done i'll put leather conditioner on there it is the best way to clean it so let's get started and i'll show of course i'll show you how to use the steam machine in a different steam machine episode but here i just wanted to show you the techniques um, that some people use to clean the interior and hopefully one of them um, resonates with you and you can use it so let's get started Come in here and I'll wipe it down. All right. Now it's looking pretty good. Actually looking really good. And the cloth is dirty, but what I like to do while it's still warm like it is, I'll take my cleaner. Remember, you never let anything dry. Take my cleaner, come in there. Now that the pores are all open. And look at the lather that's coming out. It's 10 times easier to clean once it's warm. Why do you think uh, shampoo machines use hot water, right? It opens up the follicles of the carpet. Same sort of idea here. So this is kind of the technique that I use. You can just use the steamer straight. You can just use this straight. You can use the PC straight, meaning by itself. Or I do this little combination on cars that are this bad. This one, this one needs a little love and um, needs to get some bacteria uh, you know, out of here because there's uh, kid stuff going on. But there you go. For me, that's the ultimate way to clean the interior. Look at all that gunk that just came out. Looking good. Once I do the rest of the car, everything will dry off and it'll be nice. Put leather conditioner, because remember now the pores are open. We opened them, then we cleaned them, we pulled out all the junk, and now, that, now they're, they're empty. Now we need to fill it up with leather conditioner. The other little side note or a tip here is when you're putting leather conditioner on, what it's actually doing is it's filling up those pores, right? Keeping everything soft. But remember we talked about inside these little areas here with the little, um, I see you need to vacuum all this stuff. Um, if it's really heavy, you need to vacuum it first. But um, once the little dirt and things get in these areas, when you're sitting and getting up, sitting and getting up, sitting and getting up, like I said, it's, it's, it's like a little piece of sandpaper. But when you put the leather conditioner in there, it helps. It's not, it's not you know, preventing anything, but it does help minimize the abrasive action of all the dirt that's in here that in theory should be gone. But you follow my logic. Everything I do is try to minimize the amount of damage that can happen to these cars. If any questions, shoot me an email at larry at ammonyc.com. I got a lot of work to do. I have to do the interior, the entire interior. I just did one little section for you and I'll show you. That's, I wanted to show you a couple of different approaches that I use on a couple of different cars. This one here, I'm probably gonna use the last one just for the fact that I wanna uh, get a bunch of bacteria out of here because it's been a very long time. If it's not that bad, go to approach one. If it's kind of bad and you know what, you're like a power tool guy, then go to approach two or some sort of hybrid of all three of these. You pick what works for you, clean the interior safely. I'll talk to you guys soon, thanks, bye.